Did you know there are over 2 million active podcasts being broadcasted in over 100 languages? That means a heck of a lot of guests are needed. Maybe you had thoughts of being a guest on a podcast. Well, today's episode will give you all the advice you need to pitch yourself as an expert authority so you can transform your brand and your career. All of this and more is coming up on the Fitness Business Podcast. If this is your first time listening to the Fitness Business Podcast, I'd like to personally welcome you to the show. The Fitness Business Podcast is an educational platform designed to educate fitness professionals like yourself from all over the world. Our catalog of episodes is over 400 strong, so make sure you go to fitnessbusinesspodcast.com so you can check out our educational library. Now, if you're a regular listener, I personally want to thank you. I appreciate you coming back week after week. Hey, and if you'd like, we'd love to have you please recommend an episode to your friends. Hello, FBP family. I am your host, Dory Nugent, and today our guest, Brittany Lynn, will teach you how to become a podcast guest, and she will explain why you should pitch yourself as a podcast guest. Brittany Lynn is the owner of the Human Connection Agency, and she helps industry professionals like yourself become podcast guests. As a matter of fact, Here at the Fitness Business Podcast, a few of our guests have been a direct result of Brittany's agency. We will hear from Brittany in less than two minutes. First, a huge thank you to ISSA for supporting our show. Health Club leaders, you work hard to ensure your members have the very best fitness experience, right? You need personal trainers who do the same. Become a preferred partner with ISSA and we'll deliver the best trainers in the industry to your club in a matter of days fully certified, and ready to work. And we'll help you keep those trainers by offering them exclusive discounted pricing on ISSA certifications. Because when your trainers stay, so do your valued members. Becoming a preferred partner with ISSA is absolutely free. Click above or visit issaonline.com slash fitbiz to get trainers now. Thank you, ISSA. This is such a great company. You definitely need to check them out. So head on over to www.issaonline.com. Get your pen ready now for Keep Me's Fit Bizpiration. What are your top three tips to pitch ourselves as guests on podcasts? Number one, I would suggest research, finding the places of where your ideal audience listens to make sure that you're pitching yourself to the right podcast. Number two is outlining your talking points. What are the takeaways that an audience, a listener can take away from an interview that they listen to with you? Um, And truly those can be just like bullet pointed out. Like I'm going to teach them this, this, and this, starting with how to's you know, seven ways to blah, 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 just kind of that's how like the framework of how you can phrase those bullet points. But just thinking about at the end of the episode, what can the listener take away after they've listened to my interview? And then the third thing is pitch. And I know that that seems like a (laughs) kind of basic, you know, obvious type of tip, but you need to routinely put this into your calendar, right? So you need to be consistent about it. People are going to say no. People are going to not respond. That is totally fine. That is part of it. You aren't doing anything wrong. Um, And kind of a side tip to that would be make sure to follow up with people that you don't hear back from. Because I will tell you 40% of the places that we land our clients, it's because we followed up. And so I think about all of the missed opportunities that our clients would have had if we just hadn't followed up. So Follow up, follow up, follow up. Next week, I hand over the mic to my teammate, Chantel, who will be delivering an education-intensive episode with special guest Martin Rooney. Martin's books, 
Coach to Coach and High 10 help people improve their coaching and team cultures. Such a relevant book and topic for our FBP family. After this week's full interview, Chantel will introduce you to her special guest, and you'll hear why you need to come back next week to hear their interview. Are you interested in increasing your center's income and your trainer's income from small group training? Tribe Team Training is the new way to get more members engaged in small group training and paying extra. Click the Tribe Team Training link in the show notes or go to tribeteamtraining.com.au forward slash podcast for your free formula to see how much income you can make from small group training. Let's transition into this week's interview with expert Brittany Lynn. Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of the Fitness Business Podcast. Today, we have a really interesting guest. Kind of, I feel like I'm switching the mic here a little bit. And we have Brittany Lynn. She is the founder and CEO of the Human Connection Agency, which is a PR agency that serves entrepreneurs worldwide. Now, the reason why I say I feel like we're switching mics here a little bit is Brittany is talking about why and how to pitch yourself as a podcast guest. So I feel like I've one of my own uh, pod fellow podcasters here with me. Brittany, thank you so much for coming on to the Fitness Business Podcast. Yes. Thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited to, you know, swap roles <laughs> and to gab all about podcasts because podcasts are just, I mean, if you're listening to this podcast, clearly you love podcasts. You listen to podcasts. So I'm just super excited to share with your audience of the benefits of what your audience can do by being a guest on podcasts. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Uh, excited that you're going to be our expert for the next 20 minutes. One thing that your agency does, I you know read a little bit about the Human Connection Agency, and you really try to work with your clients and help land them on top-rated podcasts. You help them to try to get in publications and also just like the local TV market. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So we are just a boutique PR agency. So, you know, there are a lot of big PR firms out there who represent huge brands like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, you know, all of those big businesses and those bigger PR firms, they, they charge a lot of money. So there are a lot of entrepreneurs, small business owners, other boutique shop owners, listeners, like you have um, a fitness business owners where they can maybe get value out of, PR and getting themselves out there in front of different audiences, but they can't afford to work with those super big, high-priced agencies. And so about six years ago, I started my business because I saw that need. And really how it started was a few people had asked me to pitch them to podcasts. And so it really all started with podcast pitching. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're going to pay me to pitch you to podcasts. Like that sounds like a dream job. Like I already listened to these podcasts. Like this is just like such a fit. And so then from there we started with podcast pitching and then we grew it to also pitching to publications. So magazines like shape and fitness and Forbes entrepreneur business insider, all of those types of places. And then we also added in TV, local TV and national TV pitching as well. But really you know, I hate to have to pick a favorite because it's like, you know, it's like your children. Like you just don't want to have to pick a favorite, but if I do have to pick a favorite, it is podcast because podcast interviews have just been so transformational for my business. And they're also transformational for our clients as well. We actually work with some people that are in the health and wellness and fitness industries. So we just see the value so much of people going on to podcasts to be a guest. And it's also fun. Like we're just like, two gals just gabbing. Like it's, it's just so much fun. And you get to know so much about a person by listening to a podcast interview with them. Let's get started with your first question that everybody probably wants to know. And that is what is the current data around podcasts? Yep. Yep. Great question. So as of right now, and, you know, in 2021, which we're, you know, going right into a new year, but there are 120 million podcast listeners in the United States alone. So that that's a lot of people, right? And it is the podcasting industry is just exploding, right? And I mean, me and you kind of know that because just like you said, there's so many more different fitness podcasts now, literally any type of industry that you are in, 
there's probably a podcast out there. So there is this need for this great content and for great guests to deliver that content. And, you know, we're at 120 million podcast listeners right now. The forecasts say that by 2023, that's probably going to be over 160 million. So it's increasing, you know, by, by 20 million, you know, every year, which is just absolutely crazy. And so I think a lot of people in the podcasting industry are like, oh, have we, you know, reached the peak of podcasting? Cause it just feels like there's so many new podcasts every single day, but we really haven't reached that peak. Right. I know that there's so many people out there, you know, my personal family included, sometimes they're like, what's a podcast. I don't even know what you're talking about. Like they think they have to pay for a podcast or something. And so the industry is just going to keep growing and growing. And so, you know, now is the best time. Like you are not too late. Like you have not missed out. And now is the time to start prioritizing this. Yeah, I know. Like you talked about the US market being so huge. And for us, the podcast here, our Australian market is huge and our Canadian Mm -hmm. market. They're probably our next two largest markets. Uh, Europe is in there as well. But yeah, it's, it's, it's not just the US. It is absolutely global and worldwide. What's the marketing opportunity to be a podcast guest? Yep. Yep. Great question. So one, you want to think about, you know, who your ideal client is and, you know, depending on, you know, different listeners are going to have different ideal clients, right? It's going to depend on what type of service or product or program that you offer, but really honing in on like, who is that ideal person that I am trying to get in front of? And so knowing that, which you're going to want to know for your other marketing, you know, techniques as, as well. So you probably already have an idea in your mind about that. So taking that And then taking it a step further and recognizing, okay, what are the types of podcasts that this person would listen to? And so if you don't know, if you, if you have no idea, you know, I would ask, I would simply ask people that are in your audience. If you have a social media following, put up a poll on Instagram stories, be like, Hey, drop your favorite podcasts in here. I'm doing some market research, your current clients. You could just literally ask them like, what podcast do you listen to? Do you listen to podcasts? Cause you want to make sure that it makes sense for you, right? Like you want to make sure that you're getting in front of the right people and that you're getting on the right podcast, because if you're getting on just any old podcast, but it doesn't have your ideal audience listening, then it's not really going to make sense for you to spend your time doing that. And you want to be you know, mindful of your time, of course. So the reason why I love podcasting and why I see it as such a great marketing opportunity is it's such an intimate experience, right? Like you're probably listening to this and like, maybe you have your headphones in and you're listening to this conversation that Dory and I are having, and you're learning more about me and you're hearing my voice and you're hearing her voice. And you're hearing this conversation. It almost feels like, you know, if you're a longtime listener of Dory's, like you might even feel like you're best friends with her and she might not know you, right? Like you don't maybe know each other personally, but it's one of those, you know, you stick to the same podcast that you listen to. You have the routine and you have that trust and relationship with those hosts. And so then as a listener of a podcast, you listening probably have a little bit of trust already with me, even if you did not know me before listening to this podcast episode, because you have that trust with Dory. And so it's just a really great way to have a long form conversation and go back and forth, you know, publications and TV that can be great ways to support your message and get out there as well. But it's super quick and short, right? Like on TV, it's like three minute clips and then they're moving on to the next thing. And podcasts also last longer too. So whenever you're thinking about comparing it to other marketing opportunities and other marketing techniques, you know, Instagram stories are great and they disappear after 24 hours, you know, TikTok videos are great, but like they kind of, you know, die after just a short amount of time. And so podcast interviews can be very evergreen. They can live on for a long time. I have people that still come to me from podcasts that I did back in 2018. And I'm like, wow, you're going back into the archives listening to that. So I don't even know how many reasons why I just listed, but like there's, you know, three or four reasons why I think podcast guesting is just a great marketing opportunity. It gives you a way to share your story, to connect on that human level with your ideal audience and get out in front of new people. Totally agree with you. I mean, 
we have a collection of over 400 episodes or 400 shows. And, you know, obviously we have the software that we're looking at which shows are being downloaded. And I'm always amazed by the older shows are still Mm -hmm. getting a ton, like a ton of downloads. And uh, I'm amazed by that. Mm -hmm. No, it's incredible. It's, but I think about myself as a podcast listener, like if I find a podcast that I really love, I will go back and I will listen to the entire archive. Like, and I know not everybody's like that, but I'm like, I must start at the beginning and listen to the whole thing. And so there's other people that are like that too. So let's talk about the steps somebody should go through if they want to be a guest on a podcast. Yep. Great question. So one kind of what I already talked about identifying the right podcast, because you could have an amazing topic, you can have an amazing pitch, but if you're not pitching the right places, you're probably not going to hear anything back. So finding those right ones. So thinking about where your ideal audience listens, asking those questions of what podcasts they listen to. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is identify your talking points. Like what are the things that you are an expert in? What are the things that you can speak to? You know, I come onto podcasts to talk about pitching yourself to podcasts, PR, marketing, those types of things. People don't ask me to come onto their podcast to talk about cooking or to give them workouts because I don't know anything about those things. I'm not an expert in those things. So thinking about and honing in on what your expertise is, a good way to kind of, if you're brand new to this, like a good way to kind of just see what's out there, like look at those podcasts that you are thinking that you might be a good fit for look at the titles of their episodes. Let's look look to see what they have talked about. Are there topics that are missing? Are there things where you're like, oh, they haven't talked about this topic and I could absolutely talk about this topic because that's what podcast hosts are looking for. And I mean, we could turn it on to you, Dory, and, and, and like, you know, you could share, like, I'm sure you get pitched all of the time. Like, what are the things that you are looking for in guests? You're looking for, you know, topics that you haven't had on before. You're looking for knowledgeable experts in their industry. And so whenever I say pitch, so if you put your talking points together, when I say pitch yourself, I literally just mean like an email pitch. And so to give you guys like some inside scoop here, and hopefully this is okay to share, you know, how Dory and I got connected, our agency had actually pitched some of our clients to her podcast. And then I think, I think a couple of people have been on and then you guys came back to me and we're like, Hey, actually, would you want to come on the podcast and talk about pitching to podcasts? Because we really liked the guests that you sent. And so that's kind of how, you know, we got connected and it was all just via email us pitching like that. But if you're kind of scared of doing that, you know, it's intimidating to put yourself out there you know, you, you are going to get no's. So it's, it's hard to get turned down. You are going to get ignored. That's just part of the process. But if you are kind of looking for help in terms of, you know, kind of getting over that fear, you can have, you know, a team member of yours do this for you. You can hire an agency like ours, but you certainly don't need to do that. You can do it yourself. Like if you have excellent talking points and you are hitting the right audience, like you will be golden. So just thinking about how your topics can be relevant for the audience that you're pitching it to, you will be light years ahead of the pitches out there because I'm sure Dory has, you know, horror stories of the terrible pitches that she's received. (laughs) You know what? It's it's not so much that I get terrible pitches, but the one that always surprises me the most is I have people, and you're right, I have people ask me all the time, can I be on the podcast? And I'm like, all right. I'm kind of like, all right, well, what would you like to talk about? Because again, we're educational and we look at the guests as the expert, right? Mm -hmm. We want you to come on. We want you to be confident. We want you to be the expert. We want you to teach to everybody out there listening. And then they always say, I don't know what I would talk about. And I'm like, (laughs) Like, that is absolutely wild to me. Or they say, well, what do you want me to talk about? And I'm like, it's not up to me. Uh, I, want, I want you. So my advice, you know, to tag on you would be like, like you said, I'm going to just spin off that. Be prepared, know your topic and pitch it, you know, truly pitch it. Don't put the work onto the podcast host, right? Like they are offering, you know, their space 
for you to come on and share your expertise with their audience, you know? So you do the work for the hosts. Like here are the things that I can talking about. Here are the takeaways that the audience is going to have. That's what every single podcast host is looking for. They want more downloads of their podcast. So they are going to want to serve their audience with information that they're going to, that their audience is going to have takeaways from. And so the easier that you can make it onto the host to be like, absolutely. Yes. Like the better, the more success you're going to have. I had, we had a guest on, he was the first episode of the new year here of 2022. His name was Dre Baldwin is today. As of today, he has given me the best pitch ever. And he did a video and it was a YouTube video. And it was like, he basically sent me a link and he's click on here. Now I get a lot of YouTube links, but usually it's like them talking on another podcast or, you know, being interviewed. Mm-hmm. This guy was like looking directly in the camera and he was like, hi, Dory, I'm Dre Baldwin and I want to be on your podcast. And this is why. And I just was, it was so in your face and so convincing. It was so confident. I'm like sold, like literally 20 seconds into the video, I was like sold. I actually sent it to uh, JT, my boss. And I was like, you've got to watch this. This is genius. So you want to know what? I have two funny things with that. I know his name. (laughs) I know his name because I have seen one of his pitches and one of my clients had him on his podcast or on her podcast. So Mm -hmm. he, he is excellent. And the second thing is That is like a, you know, if you want an advanced strategy of pitching yourself to podcasts, video pitches, we are starting to do that for our clients because again, guys, these podcast hosts, they're getting hundreds of pitches. Okay. Like they're just getting more and more. And so one of the ways to stand out is doing a personalized custom video that obviously, I mean, that's a great example of like, you saw it. It was custom to you. He came off really well on camera. You knew that he would interview well. Um, You know, he gave you the talking points of what he could cover during the episode. So those are ways to, you know, stand out and you have a much higher um, percentage of getting yeses if you take that extra step or those extra, you know, time to record those videos. And even like using social media as a way to connect with the host ahead of a pitch, you know, again, these are people like these are humans. I think sometimes when people think like, Oh, I'm pitching someone, they're like, I must become a robot and, you know, talk like I'm not human. And in reality, it's, these are human beings too. So just keep that in mind whenever you're pitching yourself. So being a, the founder and the owner of the human connection agency, which like I said, is a, is a PR agency. What advice could you give on why somebody should use an agency rather than having them do the legwork themselves. Yep. So one advantage is we're going to save you time, right? Like we are going to do all of the work for you. We're going to write the pitches. We're going to do all of the research. We're going to follow up with people. We're just basic, you basically telling you when and where to show up for a podcast interview. So we're going to save you a lot of time. We're also going to save you time in terms of building those relationships. So because we are an agency, because we work with a lot of different clients, we are already connected with a lot of podcast hosts, with a lot of journalists, with a lot of producers. So because we already have that connection, we can shorten the time that it's going to take for you to kind of get onto those podcasts because we do ha- we already have those existing relationships. So there's people where they're like, anyone you send me, I know is going to be amazing. So Yep. Like you don't even, you barely even have to pitch me because I've worked with you in the past. I know you're going to send me great people. So we already have those existing relationships, which is super helpful. And then the third thing is we are, you know, in the industry. So we know what people are wanting. We're always interacting with new podcast hosts. So, you know, this, this industry kind of changes, right? Like the media industry and online marketing, all that kind of stuff things change. And so since we are boots on the ground, you know, doing that work, we can give you more immediate feedback of like, Hey, here's what's working. Here's what's not, here's what the media wants. Here's what these podcast hosts want. And again, so you can do all of those things yourself or your team can, but it is just going to take you a little bit of time if you don't have somebody that's specialized in doing that. Great advice, Brittany. I know our listeners out there, I'm sure, hopefully they're taking lots of notes. And I do have a feeling I'm going to be inundated now with (laughs) guest requests. (laughs) 
<laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Take this as it, but here's the thing guys, like if you listen, you got to do a video, like you got to make it good. Okay. So don't be disappointing me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brittany, thank you so much for coming on and, and really honestly, just thank you for your time and for sharing your expert advice with all of our listeners out there. Really appreciate it. Hey, I want to give a special thank you to Brittany Lynn for joining us today on our episode. If you want to find out more about Brittany and the Human Connection Agency, head on over to our show notes for Brittany's contact information. Show notes are located at www.fitnessbusinesspodcast.com. Now, while you're on the show notes page, do me a favor and just subscribe to the podcast so that each week the show and the show notes are delivered right to your inbox. How easy is that? Yes, again, that is www.fitnessbusinesspodcast.com. Now in 30 seconds, I will introduce you to Chantel's guest, Martin Rooney. G'day, it's JT here. And I was talking to Blair McCaney, the CEO of one of our sponsors, MX Metrics, the other day. And I gave him a hard time about his company's tagline, defeating mediocrity. By definition, that means he's excluding the majority of the market. But Blair just wouldn't budge. He only wants to work with operators who want to punch mediocrity in the face. Really smash it. So I've talked to a few of his customers, like Joe Shirelli from Gainesville Health and Fitness. And yeah, it's for real. While Joe is a nice guy, he isn't satisfied with mediocrity either. He's crushing it as well. So I'm still dubious about selling only to operators who want to defeat mediocrity. But if this resonates with you, I reckon you should check them out. Go to mxmetrics.com. But remember, only if you're interested in smashing mediocrity. Quick fire five. Looking for a book recommendation? Well, author and world record holder Martin Rooney is going to give us his book recommendation for all of you out there listening and for all of you out there grinding it out in our health clubs day after day. Question number one, Martin, is what is a life lesson that you have learned from the pandemic? Well, obviously, the pandemic has been one of the toughest times, in particular in the fitness business. And what I've learned is relationships are everything. So as we move out of this, don't think about memberships. Think about relationships because that has become the most important in our businesses and our family. Great answer. And if you could play any movie character, any movie character... What character would you play and why? I would be the famous character, Indiana Jones. Number one, I like his combination of that he's a professor, but also, man, he uses a lot of movement and does a little bit of fighting too. But I think the thing that I miss the most is travel around the world. And there's nothing more famous than him traveling around the world in those movies. So uh, I still got more places to see. What an awesome answer. Okay, question number three is, I need you to complete this sentence for me. On a Sunday morning, you can find me... On a plane. So usually I am on a plane. Yeah, so, well, I would, let me change that. On a plane or in my bed. (laughs) So if I'm not in an airport flying back from some event and that's been less, then I've really enjoyed waking up on a Sunday morning in my own bed and actually sleeping in for one day a week. Absolutely. Okay. Question number four is what is your number one, I might even give you two, book recommendation (laughs) and why? Well, I know we're supposed to talk about one book today, but my number one recommendation for everybody listening would be Coach to Coach. If you have not read it, you need to read that. But if you have read that one, then I would say Viktor Frankl's uh, Man's Search for Meaning, which I think is mandatory reading for everybody on planet Earth. I couldn't agree more. And I have to tell you, probably one of our guests about four years ago on the show recommended that book and I went and read it off that recommendation. So I'm going to back you up on that and just say if anyone hasn't, absolutely. And I am going to go and read Coach to Coach. (laughs) We're going to talk a little bit about more when we talk about high 10 shortly, but that probably is a perfect segue. In 30 seconds, give us your very best elevator pitch on why the FBP family should tune into your episode. The reason that you have to tune into this episode is that there's one thing that I found in the fitness business during the last two years 
was that the businesses that entered into our challenges right now with the greatest cultures, not only survived, but they thrived. But the businesses with cultures that were weak either struggled or they went away. And if you're still in business and you still want to be in business, there's going to be future struggles. And the way to overcome that, the way to vaccinate your business is with culture. And that is what we're going to be talking about on this episode. Thank you to our founding partner, Active Management. Our partners, Keep Me, My Zone, Discover Strength, Tribe Team Training, One Fit Stop, and ISSA. Our advertisers, we thank you too. Rex Roundtables, MX Metrics, and Vapor Fresh. We believe what you leave behind is not what's engraved in stone monuments, but woven into the lives of others.